hello to my beautiful souls out there. So today I'm going to be doing a reading for a client, but we're not going to mention her name. Um, we have kind of a different reading today. She is torn between her husband and her lover. And we don't judge here, so we will not be judging, but we will be doing this beautiful reading for her. So, to my client, this will be your husband's tarot deck. These will be his oracle cards. And this will be your boyfriend's tarot cards. The boyfriend's oracle deck. And then I will be doing a message for both of them from this deck, the um, Romance Angels, because I just love this deck so much. Okay, so let's get started. Let's start with the husband. Okay. Set these out like this. Ooh, we got something that flew out here. Usually when a card falls out, it be because the message is supposed to be seen. So it says, receiving what you need, progression arriving, moving on, closure issues. So to me, it might seem like you need to move on, but you're having closure issues. Um, Spirit, how, uh, what should my client do about her husband? What should she do about her husband? What should she do about her husband? Seven of Wands. So the Seven of Wands is fighting, defending, demanding. So, so far you have the Seven of Wands and this card. So fighting and demanding arriving, moving on, closure issues. So it seems like you and your husband are fighting a lot and you are, were, you are wondering about closure issues. Should I move on? Should I not move on? So let's see what the cards say. Should she, should my beautiful client move on from her husband? Should she move on, Spirit? Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so the Ten of Pentacles can mean collapse of an empire, collapse of a family, collapse of a home. It can also mean divorce. So, seeing these cards, you know... The fighting, the moving on, and the divorce card. I'm thinking 
yeah, it's probably time to move on from this marriage. It, I don't think it makes you happy anymore. I think you guys are fighting a lot and it's not making you happy at all. And if it's not making you happy, then you should probably move on. Okay. So let me get this stuff out of the way. Okay, so now let's look at the boyfriend. You want to know what this has to hold. You know, you're wondering, should I leave my husband and go for my boyfriend? Let's see. These cards are brand new, so they're super hard to shuffle. I mean, this is my first time using them. But I think they're so cute. They're tattoo tarot cards. I'm going to shuffle them out. Mystic Moons. Beautiful Oracle deck. So, Spirit, please tell us what my client should do about her boyfriend. What should she do about her boyfriend? What should she do about her boyfriend? Four of coins in reverse. And this one also popped out, so Queen of Coins in Reverse. Okay, so the Four of Coins in Reverse means that maybe you're being too generous. Um, it could be financially, or maybe just you're being too generous with this um, boyfriend. And the Queen of Coins in Reverse also is about money, but it could be... Um, That there could be controlling issues, maybe financial issues, like, is this guy with you because he needs your help financially? Like, um, or with something else? Are you being too generous? Are you giving too much in this relationship than he is? Because you don't want to be used for money or anything else. So let's clarify these. I'm going to move these back and put these ones here. Okay. Spirit, can you please clarify the four of coins for us? Action in reverse. So, it's like you're being too generous and he's not taking action. So maybe you're giving a lot more than he is. Maybe he's taking a lot more than he is giving. Spirit, can you clarify the queen of coins for us? Tribe in reverse. So it seems like this guy, he doesn't really think of you as his tribe. It seems like he doesn't think of you as his tribe or his family or, you know, importance to him because he's not taking action, but he sure is taking what you're giving him, you know? It's, you're being generous, you're sending love, you're sending money maybe, you're sending, I don't know, other things. You're just giving, giving, giving. And... 
he's just taking, taking, taking. And he doesn't see you as a part of his tribe. And he's not taking any action. So, let's, um, what should she do about these relationships? What is your best advice? Let's ask the romance angels. Romance angels, please, please give us your advice for my beautiful client. What should she do? Because this marriage says that it's, should end in divorce and that she should move on but her boyfriend seems to be using her and not giving her anything and not you know taking any action or thinking of her as important or a part of his tribe a part of his family so please romance angels give my beautiful client some advice what should she do what should she do when it comes to these relationships, what should she do here? We want her to be happy and loved. What should she do here? Okay. Spirit, please give us cards. That is telling us what my client should do. This one wants to pop out. Okay. Let's see. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. I'm thinking it means release both of these guys. I know that's not what you want to hear. I know it's not. But you want to be loved. You want to be loved. You don't want to be with someone that's mean and fighting with you all the time. And there's just so much drama there, you know, and so much hurt and pain. But you don't want to be with the guy that uses you for money or sex or anything else either. So maybe it's time for you to release both relationships and just go into loving yourself. Let's see. When she releases these relationships, what will it bring her, Romance Angels? What will it bring her when she releases these relationships and she learns to love herself? What will it bring her? This one wanted to pop out, so let's see. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Okay, so it will bring you freedom. It will definitely bring you that if you release these relationships and control of your life. What do you see for the future? What do you see for the future for my client? Let your friends help you. Ask and accept support from others. Okay, so what I'm getting is I keep asking about the future, but I keep getting cards for right now. Um, so I'm guessing they're not going to tell me about the future because maybe it's still undecided. But to me, with these cards, it says release your ex. So I think you're supposed to release. I think you're supposed to release both of these relationships, honestly, because they're not serving you. Free yourself of both relationships. Take back control of your life. And let your friends help you ask and accept support from others. So because I was asking about the future and what it would bring you, it seems like it's going to bring you freedom and it's going to bring you your friendships are getting closer and maybe, maybe hanging out with your friends, you're going to meet somebody new after you've learned to love yourself and you freed yourself and you're happy. Maybe then you're going to meet somebody awesome. But right now, you just want to focus on yourself and let your friends help you. I know this isn't what you wanted to hear. It really, I do, I know. But that's just what the cards had to say. And I hope that it did help you. And above all, the decision is yours. But it seems like if you stay in this marriage, it's going to be more fighting. 
it's going to be more of you wanting to move on. And if you stay with this guy, it's going to be more of him using you for whatever he can get from you. So, I hope that this helped you. And I really hope that you can figure out what you want to do and that everything turns out beautiful for you. So, a song that I got from Spirit for you is... Stronger, What Doesn't Kill You by Kelly Clarkson. Anyone else would like a free reading? I'm giving free readings right now. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel and then email me at witchysabrina691111 at yahoo.com and I will be happy to give you a free reading as long as you subscribe. So that's a pretty good deal, I think. Um, okay, everybody and my beautiful client, you have a blessed, beautiful day.